So, do you remember when we had five people? I remember when we had five people. There was uh, Austin, Wolf, the other guy. Uh, whatever happened to them? I think they used to come motherfucker. <laughs> so, uh, Austin's gone again, and Ariel's not really taking it well. <laughs> we used to have five! And it seems like we have three! Sometimes four! I know it seems like just yesterday Mostly Gone three, Home was posted with Chris, but you guys don't know. That was recorded a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, we are- we're kind of dropping like flies! I'm not super worried yet! It's okay! <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> um... But, uh, who- who has been the most consistent? I think it's you! I think I it's you! I am like 90% sure it's me, and I've only missed like one or two sessions. Yeah, it's probably you. My sister's texting me right now because her roommates are shitty. <laughs> she has to do another fucking semester with them. So I'm gonna hear about that later. But whatever! Positivity! That she camera is me. I should, You know what? I'm gonna yell at her. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know I'm talking exactly. to you right now, so this is gonna come out with me. How dare you not text me when you're having problems? <laughs> Especially roommate problems. You had shitty roommates too. Yeah, are you too. kidding? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you not text me to complain about people? <laughs> <laughs> That's like I your thing. We <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm so glad I was here to witness this. <laughs> I, I will keep you posted. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Think they used to come, I motherfucker. Ugh. Uh, now we're all the way to camera three already. Wait, holy, this is- I thought this was like camera five. Well, it's- there's ten total and we're working backwards. Oh, okay. All right. She just said I'm so sorry in all caps. <laughs> Oh shit, are those those tinty aluminum balloons that I hate? Because they always seem to deflate faster. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> um. Actually, those are, I believe those are the Omega balloons, in all seriousness. Omega. <laughs> Why is it just one big balloon then? That seems like it would be more fitting to the Omega moniker. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, they're death balloons. Oh. Oh shit. This is just pretty hardcore. What what would you do if someone like for your birthday or something gave you a box of balloons? Like you got me balloons? <laughs> like no, those are those are okay, death balloons. Okay, she replied again. <laughs> She's like, my roommates are dumbasses and I should have complained to you because, let's be real, you're the queen of hating all people. <laughs> Teach me your ways! <laughs> and balance has been restored. <laughs> Aren't you glad I told you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually happy because, you know, like, it's good for her to have multiple people to complain. I can only say fuck your roommate so many times before it becomes yeah. small. <laughs> I mean, you know, I am a Slytherin here. We gotta look out, we gotta look out for our own here. Even the Raven Claws, I guess. Wait, what are you? Well, you know, I'm a uh, Raven Claw. Thank you. I don't think Raven Claws. Did Raven Claw? Did the Raven Claw ever really? In the books, like say anything bad about Slytherin. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I feel like that rivalry was just between the Gryffindors and the Slytherins. <laughs> mostly yes, but then the whole thing is that Rowling, in all honesty, she didn't really write 
Slytherins being very redeemable. And just kind of was like, okay, this is the bad guy house. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of. And a it was just like, point. okay, gonna shove them to the side. And the movies made it even worse. And it's just like, yo, yeah. I have no problem being the bad guy. Okay. As I was telling Austin off camera, I identify with villains more than the heroes a lot of times. <laughs> Not always, but a lot. A lot of my favorite characters are either anti-heroes or villains. Let's be real. No, that, that, that doesn't surprise me even a little. It shouldn't. <laughs> um, I... <laughs> So I don't um, mind that, I, but the fact of the matter is that we're not all evil bastards if you're on our good side. <laughs> then we're your evil bastards. <laughs> no, see, like, I, I never liked that either. Like, I never liked that she just painted that as a evil bastard. Stupid, evil piece of shit. I never liked that, especially in the movies when they're like, you know... Remember in the final battle where they sent all the Slytherins yeah. to the fucking dungeon? Are yeah, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, the whole thing is that, okay, yeah, a lot of them had family fighting, but, you know... I fucking did it, my shit. I'm pretty sure, and this might not have been explicitly mentioned, definitely not in any of the movies, but I don't think every single Death Eater is a Slytherin. You know, I never really thought about that. Statistically, that seems unlikely. Don't you think if Hogwarts had a house that was just always producing dark oh. wizards that they would do something about it? And they it? just kept teaching them. <laughs> they just kept teaching Yeah, no, like... Yeah, no, there, there's a lot of black and white. I feel like they're the dynamics that shouldn't have been like yeah. that. And yes, I know, she tried to redeem Snape, I fucking did it, ate my shit. but that's basically, like, the only one. Like, she sort of, the Malfoys sort of get redeemed. I have intercepted. Like, and, like, that's it. The mail. I mean, like, not really. Like, Malfoy only got redeemed in the sense that he became less of a that's piece of shit. That's why I said sort of got redeemed. Being cool enough. Yeah. <laughs> but not... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's the real <coughs> important story time. They got fired because they were fighting and, you know, Golden Freddy said, you gotta get your dick. And they fought and Springtrap won and now they're fired. For, um, for the reasons he listed, I believe, were, um, Freddy saying, yep. Springtrap destroying everything. And they're being replaced for not being cool enough. <laughs> All you have to do is put on sunglasses and a hat and just wear it any, any way. Any way but the right way. You wear it the side, you wear it the back, or anyway. And now go to Freddy's helping hatred or something. Or just breaking. I don't fucking know. <laughs> now he's composing he's composing a heavy metal song <laughs> and that's why he hates everyone I mean Freddie didn't invite him to his night of debauchery or something it's time <laughs> to engage oh, the, the just, final so camera deep. No Brian, are you prepared like, for the final camera? He has balls of steel. <laughs> I always found that expression weird. Oh wait, you have like, your sound down. Having you large... should turn your sound not off. Okay. Oh. Oh, why did you tell me to do Just that? <laughs> Because it's an experience, you just gotta keep listening. I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna hear this when I sleep tonight. <laughs> Are you sure? Look at that difficulty! Anyway, but... You thought the difficulty was five? You were wrong.
<laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, this, this because... camera was actually pretty hard. Uh, just in time. I mean, it's wearing- oh my goodness. <laughs> it's the, uh, Duke it's Nukem camera. Shades. All aboard the Midtown Express <laughs> to hell. <laughs> See, now we're talking. Like, I thought the whole balloon thing was a little lame. Now we got freaking Uzis. It's, it's, it's on. <laughs> Go to the break. Oh my yeah, god! <laughs> I wish that was a thing in RPGs. Like, no you could just put on some glasses and something meaningful would happen. <laughs> Alright, so the final camera battle, which I had to do several times! Not gonna lie. <laughs> several fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a spin up music that we love so much. <laughs> you know, I just I, I just imagine like a chorus in a recording studio and, and the, the, the recording director is just like, Alright, that was good, but I need you to like knock it up like oh, five yeah. six octaves. Because remember this was edited before <laughs> my program updated. Which is why Undertale did it to the high-pitched thing. I kinda wish it had. Yeah, I, I know you miss it, but it's so much less work for me. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Now that it speeds up the sound. It's not as funny, but it's, it's less steps. So I'm, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to do the thing where I speed it up in my fucking video editor, and then I have to look at how long it is, calculate how long I need to speed it up in Audacity, and speed it up in Audacity, export that section, and then put it over the sped up section in the fucking video program, and then do it for the next part. That is, I don't think you guys realize, that is what I did for the entirety of Link to the Past. Oh shit. Man, I'm so sorry. I I know I I don't get to I complain. I was committed to having the music sped up. <laughs> God damn it! And I also had that problem with the sound for being out of sync, so I was trying to manually resync it by just like shifting it back Ooh. every so often. <laughs> I actually had that problem with the tune when I was doing that "We Will Rock You" joke. <laughs> uh, if you haven't. If you people haven't watched it, just, just watch it. But anyway, um, somehow, like, the thing and the, the sounds I was using in the song would sync for, like, two measures, but then it would desync, so I had to, like, restart it. Yep. <laughs> it, was, it was a learning experience. <laughs> just wait till we get to my editing in Act 3. I synced it up. I think it was still synced up when I exported, because I know the... The Undertale last episode thing, which you guys may or may not have seen because it was after the after we signed off. Um, that was different. Some it was synced up differently when I exported it versus when it rendered. But I think for the Act Three, my brilliant editing, I think it actually stayed synced the way I wanted it to. Oh yes. So. For once, it's something some good happened. Quality <laughs> editing. I hope everyone is prepared <coughs> for when <laughs> what's his fucking name shows up. What's his name? Let me see. You dirty piece Hang on. Piece Gotta go back. <laughs> Your fucking Undertale is like half of this Your fucking, fucking notebook. <laughs> Act three. What's his name? It's something stupid. Vile. I feel like it's vile. <laughs> nope. Like the, like the Mega Man X two. Yes. <laughs> remember? Remember how the two DLC ended? The Fuckboys 2? Oh, wait! Yes! Yeah. Yes! I do! Okay, alright, I got it. Yes. We're yeah. back. Kind of. Okay, where the fuck are my 93 deaths? There they are! Gosh. <laughs> Found them! <laughs> Yes, I fucking agree. Wait, where are we? Are we going on another adventure? 
Are we going to I Target? No, <laughs> I have gotten to the office and now I'm going to face Springtrap. Uh, I have a kid card. But he's got <laughs> swag now because he put on shoes and a hat. You're just too late. <laughs> <laughs> the ritual is nearly complete. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, he didn't he didn't bring Balloon Boy back to life the yet. The ritual isn't complete yet. <coughs> no, right. Okay. We need to smoke more Probably. weed. Or... <laughs> Here I'm we just go. Concerned that the steps aren't being This dramatic. Correctly. This is This is for this Fred Bear's family diner! This is from 1972. <laughs> it's from 1972! They're going to have this great confrontation. These two used to be best of friends because they had literally no one else to be friends with. <laughs> and it ended Wait, in violence. Did they violence. give a life? What? <laughs> did they give a life bar to his arm? No, that's Balloon Boy. Back there, oh, okay. I, I see one eye. I think. I think eye. Yeah, he's, he's still not complete. Now, see, here's the thing if Springtrap was using my strategy, he would fucking kick my ass. Because my strategy, <laughs> if you remember, does a lot of damage at the cost of being a little suicidal. But. <laughs> I remember you doing something crazy, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Well, he has these abilities where, um, basically I have set up so that he gets two turns. Um, you can self-shot, shoot yourself, leave yourself with one HP, but max out your tech bar, and then you use an extra large pizza which heals you. And then you use his ability that uses the maximum tech bar, which does a couple thousand damage per shot, and it does a bunch of shots. Um, and... See, yeah. see, I thought... <laughs> you said extra large pizza? I heard something kind of different. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> God damn it, Brian. That's not what she meant to say. <laughs> I know, I know you said pizza, but I don't know the Skype audio freaking. Brian, this is a very meaningful battle. <laughs> He's wearing a hat that says I am swag, right? I can't take this seriously. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't like the final battle from the last Transformers movie. See, here's the thing. By the way, I. As the battle continues, like, there'll be dialogue and shit, and I actually, not emotional, emotional isn't the right word, but I started being like, wow, <laughs> this would have a lot of meaning if it was literally any other game having this happen. <laughs> because these two, like I said, these two friends, they had this big falling out, now they're fighting to the death, and some drastic things happen. Shit. It's... Well, we'll see. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty dramatic. Oh, yes. Make a good anime. It would. <laughs> Probably one with enormous swords. See, this yeah, is Springtrap's swords. Springtrap's mistake. He gets rid of the gun. <laughs> he gives it to the one with literally no arms. But, you know, maybe it's because he doesn't actually want to kill Golden Frank. See, now I'm reading way too much into it. But, <laughs> now he's oh, gonna burn the be. fucking place down, I believe. Yes. For real. I just wanna... I just wanna step back for a second and say that I didn't actually enjoy the last Transformers movie. I enjoyed it so little that I refused to see the next one. I, just to put that I, I was gonna say, I was under the impression that Transformer movies were bad. Is that what? I was under the impression that the Transformers movies were bad. But see here, oh, yeah. I can't take it out of here alive, neither will you. 
Which I'm made of metal. Metal doesn't get hurt. I mean, I guess it melts if it's hot enough, but it should be hot, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, my, my, my soft, fluffy outer shell is probably gonna get damaged, but you know, I didn't need that. Just <laughs> be an endoskeleton, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Spring Dread, now I don't know if you know this, but your legs are on fire. <laughs> oh, I want to that. <laughs> you don't have legs during the battle. Nothing goes past oh, okay, the text box. <laughs> Ooh, poison him. Fuck the shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's just you and me now, huh? Just like old times. That's why I'm like, this scene. This battle. If it was literally any other characters. Yeah, no, I, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> Actually, like this is—it's—it's—it's—it's it's, 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 it's still absurd. It's still like its absurdity is still like preventing some actual any actual drama coming through. But I see—I see an inkling of it. Yes. <laughs> or it's like, oh, well, that was an interesting sound. There are fields. <laughs> They're not strong fields, <laughs> but I can feel that there are fields. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the fields. That's what you're just saying? Yes. How do you not feel feels? If the feels are there, you're feeling them, no? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, how you say... <laughs> oh no, the attraction burned down last night. Oh no... <laughs> now no one... Now no more security guards will die, ever. I don't see how this is a bad thing. <laughs> the end. Sound. Great. It's got cloth. Music. Red hot skull. Limited. Hit him up. Missy <laughs> Ray. Keeping in mind that I have the not copyright mode enabled, which means that the fucking Tupac does not play. I believe. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Marluxia definitely does play, but I don't remember where, because I recognize when Kingdom Hearts music starts playing. Austin might recognize <laughs> when, um, fucking Mega Man music starts, but as soon as it's Kingdom Hearts music, I'm like, whoa, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oddcast Daniel. IMT Translator. Evona Australian. Evona American. Duke Nukem. <laughs> I I was I was glad to see Yoko Shimomura up there though. Because her music is the shit. Yep. I mostly know her from uh, Mario and Luigi RBGs, but it's different. Yep. Special thanks. Look at these credits. Dubious dick, huh? <laughs> Thank you, dubious dick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, where would they be without him? Uh, Realistically. <laughs> now I can access X3. Which we will get to. <laughs> yes, I was not aware there was an Act 3, also. <laughs> Thus, the, the fuck do you mean Act 3? <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, you... I thought I was done, and I was like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I can make this work. I can get this down to five or six parts. And it's like, Act 3! Fucking kidding me? <laughs> Act 3. And Act 3 took forever. Not just because of the spoilers, the 98 death montage. Which, of course, I had to live through that shit. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it took a couple hours to get through all 98 of those deaths. Not gonna lie. Well, Look be, forward to be. it! 